Hello, my name is Paul Neighbour, and we're getting more and more people using Adobe Connect. So I thought I'd just make this uh, update on how to use Adobe Connect to um, on your system because they've updated the way it works recently. So the first thing to do is you'll, you'll get a meeting invite or an email, and you'll see a, a, a meeting URL. It looks like this. So it's a meeting long number Adobe Connect and some code at the end, or this could be possibly the uh, a, a meeting name. So what you need to do is you need to uh, click on this button to to open it in Outlook you need to control click on the on the button and it'll open up a, a window that looks like this I'm just gonna say no here because my machines so you should after a moment get this thing here that says download the Adobe Connect application that's by far the the best way of doing it you can uh, view the meeting by using flash but actually it's best to download this uh, Adobe Connect application so you download it and you press run here if that won't run for you in your organization then I recommend you get in touch with your IT people um, to uh, install that application for you we found that actually running the Adobe Connect application is by far the best way of doing that so it'll say discover Adobe Connect install um, and so it'll download that for you and then it'll install that on your machine uh, create a shortcut if you like and then press exit <coughs> so now having done that you can press launch Adobe Connect and it'll say do you want to switch to the Adobe Connect app which you say yes and from now on you won't have to download that Adobe Connect app. So you'll end up with a, with a screen that looks very much like this one. Just waiting for that to store. So this can take, as you can see, a little while to to connect or to the Adobe Connect servers. A little while, he says. Keep talking while it does this for you. So then you'll get a screen like this. So as you can see, it's um, already picked up my. So, <coughs> so the first thing to run is uh, a m the audio setup wizard, which is here. So if you go through this step, it'll take you through a series of steps that will show you how to check your sound. First of all, you'll you'll uh, it'll select which speakers you want to use. So it's showing you all the speakers on my system and you can then play some music and you can then uh, select which microphone you want to use so I'm actually going to use my headset which I'm recording this on now and it'll say allow so that will allow your headset so now you can see as I talk that's going up and down so we're going to stop that and play that. Oh, so that'll allow your headset. So now you can see as I talk, that's going up and down. And then you test your silence. So I'm going to have to do that again because I spoke. This what this does it, it sets the level. So what this does, it sets the level at which your microphone triggers. So uh, you should be quiet during this bit. So now you can see here, my microphone was at 77% and my silence is 3%, which is a nice level. So if that's above uh, 90, then your microphone's too loud. And if it's less than more than the silence level is more than 10 or 15, you're probably in too noisy an environment. Good. <coughs> so you can now, I'm going to just start my webcam off. So uh, here to speak, there's these microphone buttons here, which your trainer can enable for you. And you can turn on your webcam here. So if I switch that microphone on there, you can see that that little uh, microphone in that top right corner is, is is flickering away. That means that my microphone is working. So uh, the usual convention is to switch that off unless you have any problems. So <clears throat> the other thing you should see is here, this should show you what your connection status is. So this will tell you how much data uh, we're streaming up and streaming down. So we've got quite high resolution video on here. So you can see there's quite a lot of data going up. 
uh, and not much data coming down because it's just carrying the sound. Um, <coughs> But that's an ex I've got an excellent connection. If you if it's not excellent, if it's orange or or less than that, then then you need to find a better connection. I'd recommend plugging your machine into a wired connection if you possibly can. The problem with Wi-Fi is you're sharing your Wi-Fi with with everybody else in that office. So if someone's watching the football, for instance, <laughs> you'll, you'll get no bandwidth. So click on help there are some things that can help you here and one of those is uh, troubleshooting so that's worth knowing you click on the troubleshooting and it'll take you to a diagnostic page so uh, you can get this link from your trainer but it's it's again that meeting room so you can run a diagnostic test here again you can install the app here uh, so that'll just take us back to where we were installed in the app but we can run a diagnostic test here uh, and say yes so it'll now run that as a little diagnostic test so it's saying my connection speed is working it's now testing my speed uh, which will take a minute or two We should pass because we, we know Adobe's Connect's working here. But as you can see, it takes a minute or two. It says less than a minute. I think this is less than a minute. LAN speed. You're ready to connect to the Adobe Connect meeting. And you can also uh, check your audio here if you're outside of a, a meeting. So again, this is exactly the same audio setup wizard that you saw in the meeting room. Uh, <laughs> etc but I won't take you through that again so uh, I hope you found that useful and uh, if you've got any questions please oh so we can go back to the meeting room so how do we get to this diagnostic we went help and we went uh, troubleshooting okay good thank you very much